clap. And I'm going to share my screen. This one. So anyway. So today we are testing for different types of carbohydrates and uh, trying to classify them. So he sent out an email um, with some information. Uh, he gave you guys a, there should be a sheet that uh, has, let's see here, it's in, it's in here. I want to email it to you guys, but there should be a sheet that's, this one. So we're we're gonna go through the um, through the the video, and you're gonna do a positive or a minus. And a positive test is uh, when it turns a murky brown, um, and a negative is when it doesn't turn a murky brown. Um, so, and then so you're gonna get all that information down right from there. And then he sent out an email of your unknowns. And from the, this information here, you're going to use it to determine what your unknown is. And he said he sent out like some kind of flow chart for you guys to use um, in order to put in the information, um, which I think you put into this data sheet here. Um, does that make sense to everybody? He did send us the information, but I was looking over it and he didn't give us like final color changes on um, like solo one offs or Benedict's or something. Um, is the person talking have a video? Um, did any of you guys print it out? I don't have a video. Sorry. It's fine. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's go through this email real quick. Where'd you send it out? So, it's not unknown. so there's no, um, yeah. So in the unknown though, it, it, he, so he does have the, the color changes for the, for the bios. So brown, 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 blue, right? So what? For one of them. I see that. If, if your last name is there. So someone wrote something in the chat. Uh, be right back. Boss is calling me. Ooh, sounds like it's not good. Um, uh, it says, uh, yeah, you have everything that you need. You just write down your unknown code. And then based on, based on the thing that we see um, with this, you know, you're going to see which ones are positive for. So, for example, for the, the Mullich test xylose, fructose, glucose, lactose, sucrose, maltose, right? So, you know, it's gonna go either, it's gonna go like positive or negative, positive or negative. And as you go through that, you're gonna look at your at your unknowns. You're gonna go, okay, uh, my last name begins with A. The molech test was positive. Was xylose positive from molech? Oh, nope, okay, then it's not, it's not xylose. Okay, let's go to the next one. And then so on and, and, and so forth. Right, I get that. It's just with the Silouan and offs or whatever. Don't doesn't mm -hmm. the color of the product determine if it's an aldose or a ketose? And then see uh, it, well, if it's non-reducing or reducing. And since we don't have those colors, we're not going to be able to like really nail down what our product is. Uh, did he send you anything for the Silouan Sil one offs? He did, but he just oh. that we're having a positive reaction and. It looks like what matters with those is the color of the reaction. Oh. Um, well, they're not all positive for it, though. So they're not all positive for sh sh solo and off. So I would say that if it's if it's positive, then then there was a color change. Does that make sense? I mean, yes, but it looks like from that flow chart he we have in our lab book, it matters what color change it is. It's either going to be <clears throat> green peach or then cherry red it changes to cherry red so cherry red i think would be the positive when i flip back into the solid one-off section in the lab manual 
that says it goes to a cherry red product within two minutes or you know ten minutes. I guess that's the. Does that make sense to everyone? Not the, yeah. Okay, and and we're gonna go through the through the video too, so we can see it. But I just want to explain that to everyone. Um, did that help you though? Uh, who who was just asking that about that? Laura. Laura, does that does that help you? Um, not really, but it's okay. Okay, sorry. We'll get through it though. Don't worry. Okay. I think you're, you're actually right anyway for <laughs> it reacts to change either color depending on if it's ketos or, or all those. Yeah, what I was trying to say is that we need a color regardless. So if it's an aldos or a ketos. Right. I mean, all we do know is that it's a reducing month. Well, I mean, they have different ones, so. Where is the other video? Um, hold on, y'all. I don't, I don't see his lab video. Oh. I told him that it released it. Hold on, guys. I need to. I I told them that we're starting at one thirty, so I don't know why the video's not up. So, for a second. Wait, didn't somebody say that the that the video was already posted? Yeah, it's on there at the very bottom. Um, the bar positive and negative for barcodes is weird too, because it's gonna be positive either way. But you said it's on the very how long the it very takes. Long. Oh, here is it this one? I hear the. I thought we're doing 0466. No, we're doing 0446. Qualitative. 0446. You're right, Trey. Barfoods, you have to wait a full 10 minutes for a full reaction. So or or a, two to three minutes, but it's not like positive. Oh, you still have, to, yeah, still have to monitor for a full 10 just to be able to see if it's on a. Uh, change for the final disaccharide. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't see O four forty six anywhere in here in his list of videos. Wait, zero forty six. Uh huh. Yeah, it's online. It's video fourteen at the very. Bottom. In the link, would you please, Laura, uh, Jenna? Bottom. There's a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you send a link or something in the chat? Yeah, I'll do it. Sorry, title. I don't see it. Hey, Quinn. Quinn. Are you able to open it? Let's see. Yep. 
Cool, thanks. No problem. Oh, it was posted April 22nd, 2020. Okay. Nothing. You guys see the video? Assuming you do. Whoa. That was loud. So this is for the first row, right? This is for the first row, I believe, yes. I haven't seen the video yet, so I don't know exactly how to do it. So it says transfer two mils of the carbohydrates from the first set to the second set. So add two drops of mullet reagent and mix, and then add two mils of concentrated sulfuric acid to the third set. Is pour the carbohydrate molecular reagent from the second set to the third set. Observe the layer. Name of the carbohydrate left to right: xylose, sucrose, starch, maltose, lactose, glucose, fructose. So, is that what you guys have on your sheet? Yeah, but not in the same order. Not in the same order. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll just pay attention to which ones are, are changing colors and which ones are not. Oh, no. This posted in viewable. Okay. So that was not very... So sucrose, starch, maltose, lactose, glucose, and fructose going from left to right. And then there's xylose right here on its own. So it looks like only sucrose turned to a brown color. Um, and then it looks like fructose might be turning brown. I'm going to slow this down. This is going too fast. So do you guys see that? And this is for the, the mullet reagent. So would you say that the one on the very right is positive or negative? Uh, I, I would say I would say it's positive. OK, and which um, one is again? Which one is that? Uh, I want to say that's, sorry, hold on. Fructose. Yeah, fructose. Oh, come on, dude. Sorry, no, this is. So yeah, that one was fructose on the end there. How does he have music? Okay. I'm gonna do the two test my edit. So he said from left to right is fructose, glucose, lactose, maltose, starch, sucrose, and xylose. So um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that 
only the what is that one right there next to the sucrose? Like only a positive reaction. Like, yeah, it's like only starch had a positive reaction, right? Okay. Did you guys get all that down? You guys want a really good laugh? You look at the heating pa uh, plate that the, he uses. That's mm -hmm. my company I work for. No kidding. That's pretty cool, actually. Anybody want some really good quality <laughs> lab equipment for a good price? I have uh, have ends. All right. Sold. Let's call you Little Walter. All right. So we see here. Um, that we added three mils of the barfids reagent to one mil of the test tube and placed the test tube in boiling water for five minutes. Um, does he say, yeah, so I don't think he says what the list is. Looks like it says fructose, glucose, lactose, maltose, starch, sucrose, and xylose. And uh, I want to say this is after the boiling. So let's see. Oh, no. So it's in the boiling. So. Record the time, place, and particular time. So they went to 112 degrees, five minutes. Says, record the time, place tubes with no precipitate back, and record the presence of red precipitate, and then, and then what? The name, okay, so from left to right, starch, fructose, lactose, maltose, xylose, sucrose, and glucose. So I don't see any red precipitate. Oh, oh, is your organ going to do that next? So should we put like negative for the, this is the bar foods, right? Yeah. So let's hold on a second. Let's see what happens after this. Okay. Um, Cause I want to see if it's. So yeah, cause this is all the, the, the bar foods reagent. Now you say it bar foods. Um, no. Yeah, I see the red precipitate in three of them. Yeah, so you see it now. Yeah, so you see in uh, looks like fructose, glucose, and xylose. I see red precipitate. Uh, and the other ones I do not. So should we put that in the initial or in the final? Um, so I would put negative in the initial and then okay. positive in the final. 10 minute elapse, right? We did it for a full 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. So it's five minutes and then they stop and then 10 minutes. So here's Solowinoff's test. So which ones were positive? Uh, fructose, glucose, and xylose. Everyone got that? This is after the two to three minutes or after the 10 minutes? After the 10 minutes. Okay, so nothing nothing had a red precipitate in the two to three minutes? In the two to three minutes. From my understanding, he did it for 10 minutes. So where, where do you see two to three minutes? Well, I was looking at what the results say. We should have a red precipitate within two to three minutes if it's a reducing monosaccharide and we should see red precipitate after 10 minutes if, if it's a reducing disaccharide. Okay, yeah, because there was no two to three minutes. It was just 10 minutes. Okay, so then just basically if we saw a red precipitate at all. Yeah. Because yeah, he does it for 10 minutes and then, so this is after the, the total 10 minutes here.
So I would say that, so, so what did you say that after the, the 10 minutes, it should be a disaccharide? Yeah, if we waited 10 minutes and saw the red precipitate, then it would be a reducing disaccharide. But if it formed within the first two to three minutes, then it'd be a reducing monosaccharide. Okay, yeah, so I think that in this case, they would all be disaccharides because they didn't, the, the ones that, or the ones that did turn red would be because they didn't turn red until 10 minutes after. So for the final line on that thing for the barfoods, when they elapsed, what are we doing put on that? We don't put the time that it actually went positive or negative, or are we just gonna be like positive negative on it? So it's got uh, initial, uh, final, initial and elapsed on the... Uh, so final, so initial should be negative, final should be positive, and then elapsed time should be 10 minutes. Just wanna make sure. Yep, no, you're fine. So you're gonna transfer the... Also, what about the the line above the final, the bar for oats time? Like, what are we putting those lines? Um, I can't, I can't see the paper right now, um, but... Um, what does it look like? Uh, this. Okay, so so bar is line. What is line above it? You said final. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think you put. I think that's where you put the. Positive or negative, I think. Yeah, I would just not even worry about that one. You only need to put a positive or a negative. So that just might be just be like an extra line or something. So you're going to put nine mils of selenose reagent to 2.2 2 and a half minutes. It's just kind of weird that this is all done in like still motion. You know, it's not like a video of him actually doing it. That's probably why he added the music. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, I guess here's, oh, now he's actually. So yeah, you guys had mentioned something about um, whether if it turned cherry red or brown and if it was a, an aldose or a ketose. Lauren, I think you were saying that. Yeah, it's supposed to turn cherry red if it's a ketose and blue green, then peach if it's an aldose. Okay. Uh, these, yeah, these aren't really reacting that strong. So let's go back because I do not get anything from that at all. So does that mean fructose is the only positive there is or is that what other one that is? Positive? Yeah, because it looks just like, yeah, it just looks like fructose and maybe uh, sucrose, what did it say, sucrose there? Those are the peach ones? Yeah, I mean, it looks like fructose is the most peach one, though. Does it not look, does it that not, not seem like the case to you guys? Yeah. yeah the so, sucrose has got a very light pink to it also. Yeah, it has a light pink to it, too. So I would say that that's also positive okay. for that. And it turned to that peach color that uh, Lauren had mentioned. Is that under the final line? Yeah, because it looks like after this, it's it, after this step here, it's going to be done. So, so let's see. So yeah, fructose and super. So yeah, that was it. That was. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, after the two minutes, we're gonna see what our observations are. Two, okay, great. So, man, starch, so left to right starch, maltose, lactose, sucrose, fructose, glucose, and xylose. So it looks like they're all, um, except for, what does that say? What was the third one? It was um, fruit, is that fructose there? Maybe, yeah. Let's see. That's the one, two, three, four, it's one down. I thought I had bad handwriting. Two, three, four. So that's su sucrose, I know, right? Yeah. Looks like that's sucrose there. That didn't have that orange layer on the top. So then sucrose would be the only negative one? Right. Okay. So some are yellow, some are dark orange. Let's turn in my, oh. You should have like a, some clamps or something to pick those up, but not with your hands. Inner safety uh, supervisor makes me want to scream out of this video right now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Ever hear the name Steve Kushner? Uh, Steve Kushner isn't that Ivanka's husband? Oh, no, no. Oh, that's Jared Kushner. Never mind. Yeah, Steve Kushner, K U T S C H N E R. He's one of the uh, leading uh, living fossils that are still uh, in chemistry. He, he tells the craziest stories of some of his buddies who did crap like this. One of them, he's like, yeah, I shook his hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> Got magnesium splash on his hands. What is oh, that? wow. Uh, one of his buddies, uh, this guy is 74 years old, teaches at ACC, is known as some of the greatest amazing chemists in the world. And uh, one of his buddies was uh, working on something he wasn't willing, willing to talk about. And he said, yeah, he uh, splashed himself with a magnesium uh, solution. And uh, when he met him the next time, he could ha only shake his hand like this. You know, like, that's all he had left. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's why it's important. That never throw a, a block of magnesium in the Ohio River. Oh, there you go. <laughs> why, it, it, it might explode or something? Oh, it did, yes. Okay, nice. Called out the state troopers cause of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what happens when you get your doctorate in Ohio. All right, there you go. <laughs> so I'm not seeing much color change uh, as this is going on. Um, most of them I think are just staying the color that they were. Okay, maybe I can speed up this process.
We're going to go back to this step one more time, or just this last part of it. Make sure we get the colors down. Eric is like a deep yellow. Uh, I think that's fructose. I'm hoping he puts them like on like a rack where we can just look at them. Xylos looks like a deep blue, I think. Glucose looks like a deep, like golden yellow. I think that's, I don't know, I can't read that writing. Okay, cool. So let's see what we got. Fructose. All the colors kind of look the same now. Almost. So, fruit. so that looks like fructose. Looks like dark yellowish brown, right? Did you guys say so? Okay. So would that be positive? Uh, I don't think for this one you put positive or negative. I think it's just brown. I think for this one you just put the color, no? Does it does it have like the same kind of, huh? This is bales, right? Yeah. So for this one, I believe you just put the color because um, they all kind of change color, right? It's not like a color colorless type of deal. Oh, I think it's Pentos gives a blue, a or green condensation, and then Hexos is yield the uh, muddy brown to gray condensation product. Right, right. So it kind of helps you identify it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what the hell? He just went through like that one. <laughs> uh, so it looks like, yeah, I mean, they all look like the same color, except for maybe Xylos. I know that Xylos looked a little bit more blue. Um, and then you got Maltose there. Looks like just kind of a dirty brown color. Uh, lactose also. Um, yeah, so just put whatever color you guys think it is. Cause yeah, to me, like they all look the same except for Xylos looks like a little bit of a dark blue color. Okay, so did that make sense to everybody, kind of? All right, so, and another thing I wanna talk about with you guys um, are just some of the hazards of the lab. Uh, so, you know, like the Moultrie agent is a uh, toxin and corrosive, uh, the iodine, uh, potassium, the iodide reagent is highly toxic, corrosive, and an irritant. The barfids reagent is corrosive and an irritant. Biles is toxic and corrosive. Benedict's toxic and irritant. So what else toxic and corrosive? Just assume anything that's not like hexane or ethanol. Uh, even those might be harmful to you for a long-term exposure, like on your skin, like direct contact. But 
all these are always going to be something that's not fun to play around with, especially the iodine, iodide reagent. Um, and so let's just look at this flow chart here. Um, so does, does this look like the flow chart that he sent you guys? That's, the one That's in the, the book. Manual. Yeah, this is in the lab manual. So does this, does this look like the one that he sent you? Or is this the same one that he sent you? I don't think he sent this one. Yeah, well, he didn't send a flow uh, chart. He said he was going to send you a flow chart. Huh. No flow chart, just the positive negative results. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Uh, he said he was going to send you one. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the flow chart that he was talking about. Because I think, I think though, the thing was, he said that some of you guys don't, like, still don't have books. Um, so maybe he was, he posted this to Canvas. Do you guys have access to this on, on Canvas, like the lab manual? I didn't see it. I uploaded the it's entire manual, though, on uh, Google. Yeah, yeah. And thank you for that, Sean. Really appreciate that. But he said he was going to post this um, for you oh, guys. It is, it is posted on, on campus, I see it. OK, so then there's that. I think this is the this is the flow chart. So mulch test. So if there's no reaction, it's a non-carb. And if it's a purple uh, uh, product, it is a carb. OK, cool. Do we, we, okay, well, what kind of carb is it now? OK, well, let's do that, the iodide test. OK, well, we got blue, black. OK, well, it's a starch, and it stops there. OK, well, there's no reaction. OK, well, then let's see what kind of it's a carbohydrate. That's not a starch. So like, we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of a carb it is. OK, the, the barfitz test. OK, red precipitate after two to three minutes. It's a monos. Uh, see, but I didn't see any precipitate after two to three minutes. So um, I don't know. I don't know like which one that's supposed to be. But unless you guys saw something else, they all should go to the 10 minute one. Does anyone disagree with that? Because I didn't see it. Maybe I have to rewatch the video, but I didn't see anything like that. So anyway, According to the video, so, uh, I would agree with that, yeah. Yeah, so um, after, and also too, he said something about um, like also Googling it um, and seeing like what it should be like in theory, um, not just based on this video. <laughs> yeah, yes, Trey, I yeah, know. Yeah, because like know. xylose is a monosaccharide, but it tested out as a right. disaccharide. Right, exactly. Right, so it could just be like an error of the lab, right? Like not everything's gonna work, work perfectly. And trust me, if any of y'all are going into research, you guys know that things don't always work out uh, perfectly every time um, for whatever reason. It was just bad luck that day, right? It, and it, it is 2020, so, you know, it's been a bad year anyway, right? So, well, overall. And then, so anyway, so then the, the, the precipitate comes after uh, 10 minutes. So then we do the, uh, the, the Benedict's test and we see if it's a reducing or non-reducing sugar and if it's red, it's reducing sugar and you stop there. And also, I mean, either way, a, the, the Benedict's, Benedict's test is a dead end test, right? After that, there's nothing else. But um, if there's no reaction you need to, and there's a precipitate after two to three minutes, it's a, a reducing monosaccharide. And we go to the Selawanoff's test. And uh, if it goes from a blue green to a peach product, um, like, like Lauren pointed out, um, it's an aldose. And then from there you say, okay, is it pentose or hexose? Okay, blue green, blue or green product, pentose. And uh, Biles test, muddy brown, gray product, uh, hexose. And then if it turns to cherry red, it's a ketose. And so, uh, which this is a little confusing uh, because it's like, why are there two, like, how is this a aldose and then a ketose, whatever, that's fine. Um, because aldehydes and uh, ketones are different. Um, so you have also pentose and hexose. That's okay, whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, and then you just, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I repeated myself there. Um, but yeah, so does this make sense to y'all? Like, does it, I know y'all probably are gonna have to go back and rewatch this this video. Um, uh, like I said, I didn't even know it was posted yet, so I didn't get a chance to watch it beforehand. 
Um, apparently he recorded this because I mean, if you guys uh, can tell, like all the videos up until now have been, you know, recorded this semester. Um, so they're they're more recently posted. Uh, so, you know, I know where to look, but this one, I couldn't find it. Um, and yeah, so does, does anyone have any questions? I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this laugh for you guys is such, it's very easy. It's very, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing. This is a very, and I'm gonna stop recording. 